Let's break down mechatronics, a blend of mechanical engineering, electronics, and computer science. Imagine it as a superhero team. Mechanical engineering brings the moving parts. Electronics adds sensors and circuits, and computer science writes the code that controls it all. Mechatronics is what makes machines smart and responsive. You see it everywhere. Coffee machines that grind and brew, anti-lock brakes in cars, and drones that fly themselves. It's about combining strong structures, clever sensors, and smart software into one seamless system. In the past, engineers worked separately on mechanics and electronics. Now, mechatronics brings everyone together from the start. This means the mechanical parts, sensors, and code are designed to work perfectly as a team. For mechanical engineers, learning mechatronics is like unlocking new superpowers. You can build machines that are not just strong, but also intelligent and adaptable. Think robots that help in hospitals or machines that sort recycling at lightning speed. Mechatronics is the future of engineering, where creativity meets technology. It's about making everyday machines smarter, safer, and more useful. And it all starts with understanding how these fields work together. Why is big picture thinking so important in mechatronics? Imagine designing a robot arm that's super strong, but too heavy for the wheels or drains the battery in minutes. The whole system fails. System design means seeing how every part affects the others, battery size, weight, motor power, and more. Great mechatronic designers build the whole team, not just one part. It's like coaching a sports team. Every player must work together. Collaboration is key. You'll work with electrical engineers, software developers, and other specialists. Speaking each other's language helps avoid costly mistakes before anything is built. By thinking system-wide from the start, you catch problems early and save time and money. This foresight is what turns good designs into great ones. Big picture thinking is your engineering superpower. So, how do you design a mechatronic system? Start by defining the problem. Be specific about what you want your machine to do. Next, list your requirements. Speed, weight, battery life, cost, these guide every decision. Then, select your components, motors, sensors, microcontrollers, batteries and materials. System level thinking is crucial here. Each choice affects the others. Balance performance and cost. Sometimes a slightly cheaper part is good enough. This is where teamwork shines. Mechanical, electrical and software engineers all contribute their expertise. The mechanical engineer knows gears and structure. The electrical engineer picks the right drivers and the software engineer ensures the brain can handle the code. Together you choose parts that work well as a system. This collaborative process ensures your machine is efficient, reliable and within budget. Every decision is about making the whole system better. That's how great mechatronic projects start. With your plan and parts ready, it's time to build and test. The first version is a prototype. Maybe rough, but it proves your ideas. You assemble the mechanics, wire up the electronics, and connect everything to the microcontroller. Meanwhile, you develop the control code, the brain that reads sensors and commands the machine. Before real-world testing, use simulation software to test your code and design virtually. Simulations let you find and fix problems fast without risking your prototype. Then comes real-world testing. Upload your code, power up and see what happens. It probably won't work perfectly at first and that's normal. Observe, troubleshoot and improve. This cycle of testing and refining is core to engineering. Document every step, decisions, test results, changes so your work can be understood and improved by others. Building, testing, and iterating turn ideas into real, working machines. That's the heart of mechatronics. What does this mean for you as a mechanical engineer? The field is evolving. Embracing electronics, sensors, and programming is essential. You don't need to be an expert in everything, but understanding the basics makes you a valuable team player. Think of it as leveling up. You're adding new skills to your engineering toolkit. The best engineers are always curious, learning, and tinkering with new tech. Mechatronics is about creative problem solving. 
using all your skills to build smarter machines. From self-driving cars to surgical robots, the future is mechatronic. By mastering these principles, you're not just preparing for a job, you're preparing to shape the future. Stay curious, keep building, and see what you can create. The world needs your ideas, so get started.